Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are currently incredibly close to getting the contingency eliminated. We have destroyed all of their AI cores, and we are heading off to eliminate their final fleets. We do need to reinforce some fleets here, rather some ships here. Oh, that's very laggy. Okay, only with that open, apparently. Let's go ahead and get all of these ships reinforced. That will be very expensive, but there we go. That is now underway, and we're going to head down and try to eliminate this Autonomous Cluster 012 next. Now, of course, we're not sending our entire force over here, but we're sending a good amount of it. And we're going to need to take out this fleet as well as this fleet. So that'll be our goals for the moment. And then we will look to bombard the machine worlds and get them to self-destruct like the other one did, the one up here. So that's great. Let's check in real quick on the status of that. So currently, this sterilization hub is at 47%. And then we've got this one over here, which is currently at 30%. Cool. Hang on. That's going a lot faster. Are we on selective? Oh, we are. We're going to move over to indiscriminate. That'll do the trick. Fantastic. Okay, that'll make that go much faster. And we should realistically do the same thing with... Hang on. The 8th fleet here needs to be joining together. Because this is a Federation fleet. This needs to be joining together with the 1st Deep Fleet. Okay. There we go. The first deep fleet is in some dire straits here. I did not realize that, but that's okay. I want to make sure that the fourth fleet is on indiscriminate, which it is. Engaging enemy fleet. Cool. Pieces of an ephemeral puzzle, huh? Various research stations in our empire have detected subtle distortions in hyperspace, centered upon the starbase at Earth. The effect presents in real space as a localized aurora, which starbase inhabitants describe as brightly colored gaseous tendrils, enveloping the station. Furthermore, our allies in the League of Non-Aligned Powers report similar phenomena in their capital systems. President Little Charlie, that's a great name for the president of the Federation, has called for an immediate and coordinated investigation into this matter. Wait, is he our, our president? Yeah, Little Charlie is our president. Cool. So we'll go ahead and work Long on that. Updated. And we can bump this up to faster speed. That's definitely something we should do. Uh, let's see here. We need a science ship in orbit. We have one in Alpha Centauri. So let's head on over. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I remember getting that event before, but I don't actually remember what it results in. So that'll be interesting for sure. But we're going to pop in here and eliminate this station. No real problem there. Okay, Serialization Hub 003 has now been destroyed. Cool. So, we need to head over to... Here and bombard Sterilization Hub 004. So that's fantastic. We should be getting close to getting this one done as well. It seems like that went at like 50% devastation. That was not 100% devastation, I don't think. Okay, so we're just grouping up here for the moment. And apparently horribly missing this, but that's fine. Okay, I want to grab the fleets that are here, but I want to allow these guys to merge in quickly. I'm not sure where these guys think they're going. Come on back. Cool. Are we repairing automatically? We are not. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, they're coming in and attacking us here. This is actually perfect. So the special project has been completed. Fleet lost. Oh, okay. This popped up multiple times. So, after much experimentation, our scientists have managed to devise an effective detection method for identifying synthetic infiltrators designed as Humans. 
Scanners are being distributed to our security forces, and several synth cells have already been exposed and destroyed. This will hopefully, hopefully put an end to their infiltration campaign. Hopefully, indeed. Deep Space Communication Arrays picked up a brief automated distress call from the Curator Station in the Hope's End system. Okay, an autonomous cluster attacked out over here. So these curators are gone. The curators aren't in, in total gone, but these curators are. Our investigation of the aurora-like cloud at Earth raised more questions than answers. Distinct tendrils of cloud form whenever we beam communications to our allies' research teams. But only then. Each is tinged with red, appearing jagged at the edges, and they move in an agitated manner. On our own, we're unable to discern any further meaning from these behaviors, but the League of Non-Aligned Powers expects to have more answers once every member's results are collated. Early theories propose... Per, early theories propose suggest... I think they need a D at, at the end of this. Early theories proposed? <laughs> but sure. Early theories propose suggest these dimension-spanning entities somehow harmonize with our hyperspace communication bands. This accidental lure could be kept in place in order to further exploit the entity for study, or we could switch frequencies in the hopes of dispersing it. We'll hope to, to disperse it. Cool. And this battle should be ongoing pretty soon here. And we should have no real problem eliminating these. Okay, these guys just took longer to get going for some reason. But they're actually fighting this interstellar Ishni compact fleet here who are taking the brunt of the damage. I love this. This is great. This is very good for us. We can eliminate this fleet while taking minimal damage. That's absolutely great. We also finished up our Strikecraft attack speed. And we are going to go for... Defense platform hull points, I guess. That'll be fine. We're negative on our volatile moats. Oh, I just remembered I forgot to go through this at the beginning of the episode. We should do that. So this tech world needs a research complex. That'll be fine. This industrial world, I mean, we're negative on volatile moats right now, so we may want to put in a chemical plant here. Okay, this industrial world will definitely do an industrial district. This tech world, we can just do a planetary administration. Acro world here... We have a Ministry of Production already. I'm going to put in an Alloy Foundry. There we go. Refinery World here. This is simply going to be an industrial district. Nothing too major. Do we not have a Ministry of Production on here? I feel like we should drop our Hall of Judgment for a Ministry of Production. That would be a substantial increase to our production here. Cool. So otherwise, that all looks good. Let's finish up this battle. And absolutely no problem here. Beautiful. So now we're going to head up over here and get that taken care of. And then we'll head over to Siagawa, Zorf, and Kalia. Because we need to head over towards Hope's End. They're heading down towards Duracus, which is awkward for us. That's apparently the route that our... I'm, I'm going to forbid this system for right now. That's the route that our reinforcements are taking. I don't want our reinforcements taking this route. They're just going to funnel in here and die. Which is not particularly helpful. We're full on food. I'm going to sell off some food here. And we'll buy in alloys. I sold alloys. We're going to buy alloys. That was not efficient. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try that again there we go got back to about where we were before I messed up there but it's all good it's not a big deal Engaging so we're gonna go up station. eliminate this station no problem cool so this is of course a very dead station very very dead indeed and I do want to continue to reinforce our fleets here because we lost a few but these guys are now going to be redirecting away from Duracus, which is good. We don't want to be heading over there right now. So we're heading back over this direction now to hit Siagawa into Zorf. Hmm. They actually landed on these orbital habitats. Hmm. 
Noted. So we're going to need our army over here. How can we get our army over here fastest? That's not particularly fast, but there's a gateway here. So let's pop through this gateway by coming like over here. I, I just wanted to go here, but sure. There we go. So we'll arrive there very quickly. And from here we can jump drive. Let's see where we can jump drive to. Autonomous cluster 001. Oh, okay. They popped out of Obliria. So we're definitely going to want to get our edicts up here to help out this fleet. Now we do have these guys here. We should win this, but I want to win it a little bit harder. So we're going to bump up our shields. Keep in mind, we're only using shields right now. We have no armor. So we'll do that. We will do volatile ammunition, volatile explosives, and focusing crystals for the moment. No armor is that we're going to grab right now. Okay. So we will chunk through them pretty, pretty majorly here. And we've already eliminated these contingency hubs. Did they pop out over here as well? They did not. Okay, we're at 18% devastation there. Cool. Construction complete. So we're going to win this, obviously, and we're also going to uh, resume our bombardment. We're going to have to bring additional ships in here, but that's no big deal. So we eliminate their armies. No problem. And we return to siege. We will reinforce our fleet here. The Titan survived. Barely, but that's good. That means all of this will repair. So that's absolutely great. So we will resume our bombardment, and it'll be fine. We should be able to get reinforcements there long before there's any issue. So we need to take these guys, and we have to jump drive them to Siagawa. This is where I was hoping we'd be able to jump drive them to. And we'll prepare to go into Zorf. Cool. So these guys are currently down in Pazuno, which we will also forbid for the moment. I'm going to unforbid Hope's End and Duracus for right now. I keep hoping that they're just going to chill, but they don't seem to be interested in chilling, which is sad. Obviously, this destroyer dies. There was never any doubt about that. We need to get rid of our edicts at this point. I am, however, going to run exotic gases as fuel. I want to move faster than they are. Because they're just running from us at this moment. Which is not great. Ah, okay. Sterilization Hub 001 just went away. Fantastic. A victory for the entire galaxy. So we're going to move this unit down over here. And it'll take a long time to get there. We may actually be far better off jump driving over to here. And then heading over. That'll save us a lot of time. What fleet do we have over here? I think this is just a lot of little fleets. No, the second is here. Okay, that makes some sense, I guess. Sure. So we're eliminating Zorf and making our way on through. And that's completely fine. Our army has arrived here, and we're going to come up and land on Asperium. And we're going to have no real problem with this. Excellent. So there's only the one machine hub remaining, Sterilization Hub 004. That's at 27% devastation, and we have more fleets on the way in. This is the last remaining contingency fleet. So that's definitely something to note. Apparently we are attacking this station. That's not necessarily the smartest Colony thing that we can do. Conquered. But Asperium has now been, been wrestled from the contingency. Fantastic. And the colony is destroyed. So we're going to then take our army up to Drophilium. Beautiful. And we are eliminating this army here. 
No problem. The contingency is quite under control at this point. We just need to get caught up with them. We can jump drive over if we wanted. Okay, that's only a 32k fleet. It must have been larger previously. Forces. Drophilium has been conquered. And is there still a location here? Yes. Rivorium is actually occupied by the contingency. I didn't realize that, but okay, there we go. Cool. There's also an occupation over here that we're going to need to deal with. And we're going to need to reinforce our fleets again. Because we took some damage up here. Did we lose our Titan? We did not. So we will repair. And that's all great. Cool. So obviously all of these little fleets here, all of these Federation fleets, they need to all be merged into the Federation fleet at this point. There. Let's just get them out of the outliner. Perfect. Deploying liberation forces. Okay, so Zorf is back under Federation control. And we'll head on down. Cool. So this is all good for the moment. And we're just going to continue pushing down this way. So I want to select... Let's see. Which of our fleets are actually coming over this way? I don't actually know. Uh, this is a little bit awkward, but it'll be fine. This sterilization hub will not last too much longer. It's at 30% right now, and we're on indiscriminate bombardment, but we're bringing in additional forces here. So it should be fine. Okay, we've got the first deep fleet here. We've got the third fleet here. And the 22nd. Let's take both of those into, or all three of those, into Duracus. Cool. And we'll get our fleets all rearranged a little bit later on. We can see there's some awkwardness going on with our fleets. No doubt about that. But I want to get the contingency under control first. Cool. So this is all looking good, right? We've got the contingency well and truly under control here. We want to continue to have the curators. Where did they go? They probably went into Bilnaga here and were destroyed. Company, okay, comfort. that's absolutely great for us. We can unforbid this system. And that, of course, means that we can take these fleets here, although I don't care about this one. How rude. Uh, we're going to head over this way. And we're going to grab all of these Federation fleets that currently exist. And merge them with the first deep. Okay. Cool. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. There's no doubt about that. I want to check in on the Federation here. I mean, we're a long ways from level 5. I want to switch over to something here, but we need another 10 years. Well, a little under 10 years at this point. It's, it's a long time, though. We still need a long time to switch this. Okay, we'll come back to that later. So they've beaten the station in Athios. So we only need this one here. Beautiful. So that's absolutely great. That means that we are now done with the contingency. As soon as we get this bombardment completed. That's the only thing we're waiting on now. So we currently have the fourth fleet here. The fifth fleet is heading in, as is the second. Those three fleets should be more than capable of dealing with this. So we've got the fourth, the fifth, and the second up here. Every other fleet other than that will take the third, the 22nd, the first deep, the Sol Invictus, the sixth, the 59th, the 90th, and the Great Reformer. And we're going to tell all of them, return to the mega shipyard. Cool. Technology discovered. We just got army health. That's nice. We'll grab monthly unity. And we should get our army heading out too. We don't need our army over here at this point. So we'll take our army over to Shukan as well. Fantastic. 
So we'll be arriving here with more fleets shortly. And they're at 38% devastation right now. It seems like they self-destruct at 50. So that's absolutely great. I do want to check in up over here and look at our Dyson Sphere. That's still underway. And our Matter Decompressor, that's underway as well. So nothing to be done there for the moment. Forty percent. Okay. We have two of our fleets here, and our third fleet will be arriving there shortly. I do want to turn off our exotic gases as fuel. It's no longer necessary, so that'll be fine. And yeah, the uh, Interstellar Ishni Compact is going to take this territory back. That's fine. They can do that. For the moment, we're not concerned about it. I am, however, going to take all of these Federation fleets again and tell them, just group up all into one fleet. And the sixth fleet has seven battleships. We can't have more Titans, so I'm going to go ahead and get another fleet here. It's not going to be great for our naval cap, but we can grab Titans, Cruisers, Destroyers, Corvettes. This was 714. I believe this was like 30 and then 62. Let's check that. Yes, that is correct. So we can go ahead and reinforce all of those fleets and get that going. Now, I believe that we also had Bahiram here, which we can put in a pair of anchorages. Not a shipyard, an anchorage. And we'll put in like a hydroponics bay here and go ahead and upgrade that. Cool. That will help offset our naval cap issues, but it definitely won't fix them. Okay. So we're just waiting at this point on this contingency this contingency world self-destructing. I believe that happens at 50% devastation. We'll see. We're at 47 right now. Okay. I'm just watching the clock here and uh Oh, okay. That Enclave pays dividends. Cool. It seems like we're getting about 1% per week, but I'm not sure if all of these are on indiscriminate. Uh, indiscriminate, indiscriminate, and indiscriminate. Okay, they are. So that's good. We're 49% here. And let's see if my theory is correct, that it blows up at 50. Yes. With the destruction of all four machine worlds, scientists have managed to deduce the origin point of the ghost signal. It is coming from CX-9881, a previously uncharted star system on the galactic periphery. This has to be where all the synthetics that fell under the sway of the signal journeyed. The contingency will remain a threat until this final system has been dealt with. It must Long be neutralized. Updated. Okay, so where is it? Where indeed? Just put us here? Maybe it hasn't spawned yet? Because I definitely don't see it. Hmm. Uh-huh. There's a pirate fleet there. That's not what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and track it. Aha! It's in our territory. Okay. We can definitely get this. Oh my, okay. So they've got like three AI cores and a 200k fleet here. This isn't too bad. They've also got Nexus 01 here in AI world. Which I believe we can't really do too much about. But we can definitely come in this way. So we're going to grab every fleet we have here. Actually, first I'm going to merge these together. Then we're going to grab every fleet that we have here. I don't really... Actually, we'll bring in the Great Reclaimer. Or rather, the Great Reformer as well. And we'll head over to the Singularity. Cool. 
Now, some of these are going to be a ways away. Critical error. Connection lost to all sterilization hubs. Attempting to reconnect. Stand by. Uh, attention, please. The contingency protocol is still in effect, despite recent setbacks, delays, impediments. Do not approach CX-9881. Do not approach. We are re-evaluating our strategic options. Any attempts to disrupt this process will... will with result in immediate mass sterilization. I think they mean will result, but sure. Of the offending units. Their end approaches. Okay. So we're going to head over. I would like to jump drive out over here, but some of these are going to be a ways away. So we can see like the ones that are currently down in Zorf. The first Starfleet here. I would like to... Can we jump drive that directly? Waskar is just out of reach. But we can go to Clea. Okay. Okay, what about our other locations? So these guys are... We've got the 4th, 5th, and 2nd up here. So the 4th, 5th, and 2nd... I'm going to jump drive them to here. And then from there, they can make their way to here. It'll be much faster. But it won't be fast exactly. Okay, so once the first fleet arrives here, we are going to then jump drive them to Waskar. And then from there, they can slowly make their way over to Elnath. Cool. Technology discovered. So that'll be fine. The shield hit points are done, and we can grab more. But it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode... We will finish off the contingency once and for all. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Atala, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.